It is Sunday, June 3rd, 2018, 2.17 p.m. Uh, I believe it was 22 outside, cloudy, feels like 27. It's supposed to rain later and get uh, a little chillier actually throughout the week. So that kind of sucks. It's supposed to be a little rainy too. But um, today, um, well actually let's talk about yesterday real quick. Uh, I did play Battlefield for a few hours, which was really nice, really, really fun. Um, and I played uh, a lot of the BFA beta. I got like two and a half levels and almost 120, so I can hopefully start making footage of the uh, max level content for the WoW channel. Um, the Marlies won their first game yesterday in the finals, <coughs> and uh, Washington won game uh, three, so they're up 2-1 in the series. And while I was watching that game, I started cheering for Washington, so moving forward, Washington, Washington is a team that I want to win. Um, I think it'd be cool if Vegas won, because, I mean, Flurry's on that team, I like him a lot, and it'd be cool if, like, the inaugural season they win a cup, but I think just Washington deserves it more, and just seeing how excited Ovechkin was every time they scored, it's just, I'd love to see him win the cup, but I'd love to see him win in six games, so that way they can win at home, because that would be awesome. Um, <clears throat> but the uh, the topic for today, I think I'm just going to do something really kind of short, hopefully, uh, and that's video ideas that I have, that I hopefully will make sometime in the near future. Um, one of the ones that I want to do on Hopeless Prod is kind of like a quick, it's honestly like a six second video. Essentially, it's me puking, puking on myself because I'd have to go back to work. Um, so that's a video idea I've had for about a year and really nothing's stopping me, stopping me at this point. It's just going out and doing it. So hopefully, eventually I get that done. And I want to make more Hopeless Prod videos. Um, I just don't have any ideas. Like I'm kind of creatively lacking um, and it's a little annoying, but <clears throat> so that sucks. But um, for a while, I was kind of thinking of bringing back me, myself, and I, but I don't know if I'd really want to do that. And um, I don't really have too many ideas there, so uh, we'll, we'll, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, that's something that I want to do. For visual, like I had mentioned in the Death of My YouTube Dream video, um, I, I want to make more videos, but I don't want to make them like solo videos. I want to do play with my friends. So really, I'm kind of at the mercy of what we play together, which isn't a lot. Um, so. Don't really know what to do with that, which is kind of unfortunate because I do want to make more videos like that. But there is two videos that are, I, uh, they're, they're not really gameplay videos, they're more just kind of informational videos. <clears throat> and uh, one of them has been kind of something that I came up with a couple days ago, and I want to make a video just for creativity's purpose um, because, um, I don't know, I just feel like making a video. And I want to make a video about why Battlefield is my favorite game. Um, I was kind of thinking about it the other day, and um, I realized that it is my favorite game despite you know, me probably played other games longer, or me liking other games and stuff, so I want to, I just want to make a video kind of, I don't know, I have this kind of creative process in my head where kind of I define what makes, for me, like what defines the best game, is it the, the amount of time I have played, is it nostalgia factor, and then I want to kind of go into why Battlefield, what I think is, in my opinion, the best game. Um, so that's what I'm working on, and the other one is a video that I've been working on actually for a year, and I don't know how close to done I'm being, I am, but it's a Half-Life video where I want to go over the history of Half-Life, both, well, I want to go over the story of Half-Life, so basically both the behind the scenes of how it was made and the story itself and combine both the first and second game, like, story-wise, and then combine the first and second game uh, creation-wise and talk about why it's such a significant impact on the industry. And this is a video that stemmed last year, I think August, when uh, Epistle 3 came out. Um, and I read it and I really liked it and I was like, man, I really, I really want to learn more about the Half-Life universe. I've played it so many times, I don't really, still don't really know the story. So, um, I started playing, I've, I've replayed all the games and basically I have about 55 pages of me summarizing each level. So, you know, Gordon <coughs> walks through the hallway, gets to this room, a scientist, through the scientist room, he goes to this room and that room, this room, and he does this, meets these people. And like, I have about 55 pages of that. I've summarized every level except for the episode two levels. Um, it's been about three weeks, or two weeks since I've worked on this. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of tedious and boring. So, I'm, so I, as much as I want to finish, I can't really bring myself to do it right now. I'm kind of bored of it, so I'm taking a little bit of a break. But um, it's, um, I, I, I like it. There's a lot of information to get done. So, like I said, I play all through all the games, do this summary. I bought all the Prima strategy guides to get little bits and little bits and pieces of information out of that. I have a few hours of interviews to watch about uh, Half Life and developers talking about it. Um, online, I'm looking through reviews, I'm looking through articles, I'm looking um, at like the Wikipedia pages of, of Half-Life, getting information there. <clears throat> I'm on the subreddit for Half-Life, and just all these things I'm getting done. Um, I'm about a third of the way done reading Raising the Bar, 
And uh, I think I'm about to start the Half-Life 2 portion of it, but again, haven't done that in a while, so I haven't read it in a while, so um, don't know when they'll get done, but I'd really like to get that done because if, if it goes the way I have it planned, I think it's going to be one of my best videos because um, kind of the, the rough idea of the script I have and kind of the rough idea of how I want to present the video is something that really appeals to me. I think it's going to be really well done. And if I can get it done the way I have it in mind, I think it's I think it's going to at least please me and I think it's going to be a really good video and really fun to watch. Um, another thing I could do is play a, a lot of different games because one of the segment, one of the sections is going to kind of compare why Half-Life is such a good game compared to other games too. So I have to play other games from that from that era. So for example, I'll play, you know, Quake or Doom or um, Sin from 2004, what came out in 2004. I think Doom 3 came out in 2004, um, I think. And I don't remember what else came out in 2004, but I gotta, I gotta play Half-Life 2. Like, I gotta play all these games that were came out at the exact same time. And I wanna compare them graphically, how they present their story, how they, how they play gameplay-wise, and kinda compare them to how and explain why Half-Life in most cases is better. <laughs> um, but thing is, I want to—I don't want to just I have to record gameplay for that, but I don't want to just kind of launch up single player and start playing. I want to play, like I want to get into it for two reasons. I want to get about, before I start recording, I want to be about an hour into the game. Um, and that's because one around that time, around that time is when you really start getting into the meat of the game and start, um, you kind of, the learning process is over, you're getting more weapons, you're kind of learning more about the story, you're actually doing things that are entertaining. And secondly, if I don't know the game that well, like for example, uh, GoldenEye or Unreal Tournament, the, the original Unreal Tournament, I don't know the story that well, I don't really know the game play mechanics all that well, and after an hour you kind of get the hang of it, you understand what's going on, and then I usually record, I usually record that gameplay for about an hour. So in total, by the time I'm done playing that game, for the Half-Life video, I have about two hours of gameplay, and I think that's enough time to have a very basic understanding to very briefly talk about it in the video. Um, so that's kind of the way that works. So that's what I'm working on there. <sighs> and then finally, the, the WoW videos I have in mind. Uh, there's a few that I've been working on. One is the history of dungeon and raid settings in terms of 10-man, 25-man heroic and all that stuff. There is a video going over all of the settings in the game that I'm waiting for BFA to come out to kind of get that done. I have one that is... Um, Oh, what is the other one? There are the changes coming in BFA. Um, I feel like there's other ones too. Um, I know that I'm making obviously like TLDRs for the dungeons and the raids and stuff, but I feel like there's other uh, things I had. Um, oh yeah, there's the, the difference between connected realms, sharding, instancing, and phasing. Um, and then I might, I'm thinking of bringing back the WoW 101 series and kind of updating it for Legion, but. For right now, those are the video ideas I have. I'm always kind of, for all three of these channels lately, I've been really trying to figure out more ideas so I can post more, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And those are right now the videos that I'm working on. And just like all these videos, I think it'll be nice to look back and be like, oh, I finished that video in this amount of time and this is how it turned out. Or maybe, maybe I haven't finished, maybe it's three years later and I still haven't finished the Half-Life video, which hopefully isn't the case. But uh, anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. See you later.